I was very honored at the, right before Mass, one of the young children in the back looked somewhat amazed seeing me with my miter and my crozier and looked and said, look, there's the king. <laughs> so I said to her, just be sure to tell your pastor that, okay? <laughs> But it's so wonderful to see so many of our young children here tonight. They all look so beautiful and handsome, and we sense their excitement. So if I could just talk to them just for a few moments. I was just speaking, dear boys and girls, a couple weeks ago to, to my grandniece. She was only, she's only six years of age. And I asked her a question. And I want to see if any of you came up with the same answer she came up with. I said to her, Allie, tell me the number one of all the gifts you can get for Christmas, what is the number one gift you want to get? And she thought only for a few seconds, and she looked at me, and she said, Jesus. That's a great answer. How many of you said that, boys and girls? Look at that, great minds think alike. <laughs> and you know, God responds to that wish because that's exactly who he gives us, Jesus, whose birth we celebrate today, who reminds us of how much God loves each one of us as his sons and daughters. That's why we are so joyful this evening. Then I asked her another question. Let's see if you get this answer. I said, Allie, if you had a gift that you could have for the, for the world, what gift would you want that to be? And she looked, only for a few seconds, and she said, peace. Did any of you say that? See that? Great minds think alike. That is wonderful. The wish that we all have. And again, God responds, because our world can only know peace in and through Jesus, the one who tells us that if we follow his ways and commands, his peace will be ours. And you know, dear boys and girls, when you love your mom and dad, when you're good and kind to them, when you love your brothers and sisters and are good and kind to them, you bring the Lord's peace to your families and to your homes. And I know you try to do that every day. But if you want to give God a gift for Christmas, make that promise that you're going to try your best each day to bring his peace to your family. And if I could just talk to your moms and dads and the other adults here just for a few moments, it is really wonderful, dear friends, to see the joy of our young people and their excitement. You can see it and feel it as soon as you come in to church. And I was thinking, no wonder Jesus tells us to be childlike. You see, a childlike faith teaches us in a very simple way yet powerful way, the true meaning of Christmas. The great truth that unites us tonight, which was just proclaimed in tonight's gospel, that unto us is born a Savior, Jesus, who is Emmanuel, God with us. It is true, in a world that is experiencing so much darkness these days, Jesus is with us as the true light who dispelled forever the power of darkness and thus tells us not to fear. In a nation that is so divided, Jesus is with us who unites us as God's holy family, as brothers and sisters in Christ, and reminds us each day of our call to live in harmony. In our own lives, when we are burdened with our sins and failures and weaknesses, 
Jesus is with us to forgive us, to heal us, to allow us to become new creations. And in our own lives, when we are carrying crosses, and we all are, or when we're worried about someone we love who is suffering, Jesus is with us, consoling us with his healing love, giving us the grace and perseverance we need, and promising us that whenever our crosses are united to his, we will come to know his glory. And when you think about it, in bestowing all these gifts upon us, Jesus asks for so little in return. He simply asks that we try our best every day to be faithful to the vocation God has given to us, to imitate Mary and Joseph, to trust in and to do his holy will, and with their help, to become what our church, what our world, what our nation need more than ever, to become holy families and instruments of peace to all those we meet. And so we pray that through the intercession of Mary and Joseph, we rejoice in that great truth that unites us this evening, that unto us is born a Savior. Who is Jesus? Emmanuel, God with us, the one who alone, who gives us the peace and the joy for which we long. Dear friends, may these precious gifts be yours at Christmas, throughout the new year, and always. Amen.